Welcome to another Sims 4 video and today you're gonna be feasting. Not only because it's Thanksgiving in the United States, but I'm creating an entire apartment building, four floors, 30 by 30 lot, over half a million simoleons. So if you guys have ever seen the show Only Murders in the Building, first of all, great show, I love it. Deli and I watch every season as soon as it comes out, but it's a show where the main characters live in this beautiful, historic apartment building called the Arconia. Hence the name of our building here is gonna be called the Simconia. But what's interesting about this building is that it's just based on a real life building. Obviously the interiors they have in the show are sets that they've made, but the exterior shots are a real building in New York called the Bell Nord. And you can look it up on Google. There's some beautiful images. There's actually some original floor plans. And I'm creating a, you know, a very, very scaled down version of it. But essentially it's a huge building that takes up an entire city block in New York City. And it has a huge courtyard in the middle. And so the building is all going around the outside like this. And you have this big open courtyard in the middle. And the original building, but yes, yeah, massive. This I decided to do on a 30 by 30. Before building here on this one, I actually experimented quite a bit with a bigger size. I did actually start on a, uh, I think the 50 by 40s, that was huge. And I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I decided to go with the 30 by 30, because even though, you know, 30 by 30 sounds pretty small, this took a long time to furnish. And also I think if it was any bigger, it probably would have ended up you know, just being really laggy. And I'm pleased to say so far, at least on my computer, it's not had any lag at all. And I'm actually really pleased about that because I was a little concerned. We ended up with seven apartments in this building, six of which are fully furnished because we know with The Sims 4 for rent, you can by default have six workable, actual livable apartments on every rental lot. Um, but they did say there is a cheat that allows us to do more than that. So that means that there is a seventh apartment, but it is empty because I didn't see the point of furnishing it if most people would just use the default settings. Uh, but then if you want to use it, you could furnish it or you could just expand your apartment next to it. So that was my plan uh, with that seventh apartment. So having a look at what we're actually doing in the game at the moment, I'm building the main sort of entrance and courtyard area. Now, I guess one downside to actually using a 30 by 30 lot instead of something like the 54 or even like a 40 by 50 or something like that um, is that the actual courtyard is a lot smaller. At the moment, it's actually a little bigger than it ends up being. Uh, you can see the building on the side is quite thin. I think the original width is, I think it's six tiles all the way around. So it was actually ended up being quite small and it actually was not enough room when it came to furnishing later on. So I made it a little bit wider, which makes the courtyard smaller, but I think it's fine. The courtyard's not the main focus of this building. Now, actually what I just did here with the gates, I'm actually really happy with that, how that turned out. Because if you have a look at the original building, the Bell Nord, or even just look up references from the only murders in the building show, they have this beautiful big archway at the entrance, just like that. And this beautiful black and gold iron gate that's usually open right there at the front of the building. And I was like, that vampire's gate works so well. Uh, so I was actually really happy with how those entrances worked out. And the way this building is designed, uh, because it's just a square, you can actually put this building on basically any orientation on the lot, uh, which is good because depending on which apartment you live in, uh, you there's two different stairwells in this building, which you'll see later on. Depending on which apartment you're in, you probably want your stairwell to be at the front of the building. So you could rotate the lot in that way. Now with the actual exterior and the windows and the wallpaper, I spent so long, there's so much that we do not see in this video in general, but even right now, before this section of the video I'm doing, I had already built a whole version of this building that didn't really work out. So I went back to the drawing board, I tried to figure it out. Um, now the, the real building is very just white and very ornate, very uh, beautiful, beautiful architecture and detailing all on the side of the building, all the windows and all that. But we can't really do that in Sims. We do have these windows, which I believe those are the Discover University windows. Uh, I originally did them all white, as you can see. And then I later realized all white looked very boring. So you can see I actually changed it to the white frame with the brown uh, window frame or the, the white stonework with the brown window frame. And I think that added actually quite a nice contrast. And then later on, I also changed the first floor windows to a different style to also make the outside look a little bit more interesting because this is literally a big square and a big rectangle. I had to try and do stuff 
with the windows, with the colors, with the, you know, the trims and freezers to make it look more interesting. And I actually think it looks pretty cool. I, as far as big squares go, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this. And um, yeah, as you can see, I'm actually building this in San Myshuno. This is in my Let's Play save for the Big Wallet family. So this is actually a lot that I'm planning on using at some point during the Let's Play. I don't, I don't know if we'll ever be able to buy it, like legitimately. I mean, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, like I said, it ends up costing like 500 and something thousand simoleons. So we'll see at the end. Now here is actually my original plan with the stairwells. I actually really like this. These sort of, those two wide stairs that spiral up on top of each other. I did actually end up cutting out pretty much all of the footage of the stairs. There was so much of it where I put so much time into designing the stairwells um, that they ended up not working because because of the way the building's designed, like I said, it was only six tiles wide. It was too thin. I've actually already made the building thicker now. And you can see I've done the lobby. Um, so I decided that those stairs were not going to work. I actually ended up doing two different stairwells in different corners of the building. And so diagonal opposite stairwells. Um, and that works well because that means we can get to different apartments on different sides of the building. And don't worry, I know we're sort of glossing over a lot of stuff going on in this video. Like we haven't seen the lobbies, we haven't seen the new stairs. But trust me, this video was so long. I have so much footage that I... And is <laughs> it took me so long to do. There's no way we could see everything. And if we did, it would honestly be a very boring video because there was a lot of me just doing a whole thing demolishing it and doing something else. So, I, you know, we're sort of getting the highlights as we move through. Now this as well, whilst I've been talking, I'm working on a gym. One of my favorite ideas, I think, uh, with The Sims 4 for rent is because the way that they have described the uh, rentals working um, in the sense that you can set any space as shared space, not just like a common hallway or something, but you could have a shared kitchen, for example. You could have a shared bathroom, you know, all that kind of stuff. In this case, what I'm thinking would actually be really, really fun is having shared uh, like commercial spaces. Now, we can't actually make this the lot type of gym. And I'm doing a library here and I can't make this a lot type of a library. Like that's not something that the game supports or that we can do. But I decided to do specific venues in the ground floor of this building that doesn't require like an NPC to, to show up. Like, so for example, I didn't build a bar because if I built a bar, we'd never have a bartender there. Like they wouldn't just show up. Whereas here I've built like a library and I built a gym. Two places your Sims can go to hang out. In the library, there's computers and obviously all the books. In the gym, you've got the workout equipment. So I'm hoping autonomously residents of the building will just use this. Um, so that's, that's the plan. And if not, if, if, you know, the other Sims aren't using it, at least it will be useful for your own Sim. Like if you, you, it means you don't have to like load to go to another lot to go to the gym, for example. If you want to go to the gym, one right here. If you want to go to the library, one right here. I also built an arcade and a spa, which is pretty cool. So partway through this uh, video, there's like a bit of a jump where I had to figure out some floor plans. I actually did a live stream here on this channel. So if you want to see a bit more of a like a real time thought process of how we sort of designed the building and how we figured out the floor plans, there's a live stream on my channel. If you just go back to the channel page, go under live streams tab, it will be there. I'll also link it in the description down below. But now we've moved on to the very first residential apartment. So this is the first floor. The first floor consists of four apartments. So we've got two uh, one bedrooms and two, I believe, I, don't, I actually don't know if they're two bedrooms or not. I can't remember. Maybe there are two two bedrooms. But yeah, this is the very first one I did. This is a single bedroom apartment and it has a little kitchen nook, which I was sort of a little bit inspired by Seinfeld. Just the color scheme wise, not the actual layout, but that sort of greeny kitchen. I, th I think that kind of like Seinfeld kitchen, right? It was that kind of color and it was like sort of tucked in a corner had like an island return. So I was kind of having fun with that. And I originally started off, um, so the interior of this building, the real one and the one uh, in the, the TV show, very Art Deco, very Art Deco inspired hallways, um, detailings, finishes and all that. So all the hallways and common spaces are sort of that theme. In the individual apartments, I still wanted the building to feel, you know, it, it's quite old, it's not new, but it should still be quite nice. But with this first apartment I started doing, um, you'll I think we'll see a little bit of it. I did some sort of cheaper furnishings and, and finishes and I was like, mm, yeah, this is supposed to be quite an expensive building in, 
you know, New York, or in this case, San Myshuno. So it should still be pretty nice. It's still a cheaper apartment. I don't know how much these apartments individually cost. When, um, when we get for rent, I guess we'll be able to figure it out how much each individual unit costs. So that'll be interesting. Now you might be able to see something else interesting just behind this bedroom. There's like a little corridor there with green flooring. Hmm, what could that be? Potentially a secret passageway in the walls, <laughs> just like the one in the TV show? Maybe, maybe, I don't want to say anything just yet. <laughs> a little bit of fun. Uh, yeah, so this one, we got a bit of a green theme because you know, the kitchen, the bedroom, uh, and you got the dark flooring. So yeah, I, I did have a lot of fun. Especially, yeah, so actually here you can see this first furnishing. It was looking a little rough and I was like, mm, yeah, we may, maybe we'll bring it up just a little bit, not to be like super expensive, a little bit more. Uh, speaking of super expensive, the penthouse, we're gonna see later in this in this video. I think it turned out so cool because the penthouse, I based some of the interiors of that particular apartment off like certain sets from the TV show. Most of this building is just me making up whatever. I'm just making up the layout. I'm just making up the furnishing. None of this is like any specific design that I'm I'm basing it off. It's just like the idea of the building and, and all that. That's I'm just making it up. But in the penthouse, I do a few like little like set references, which I think uh, turned out really nice. I'm actually really stoked about one of them in particular. So look forward to that a little bit later on. Um, so this is, what is it? Yeah, this is a two bedroom apartment. So I believe, yeah, here on the first floor, we got the two single beds and then two two bedroom apartments, um, which is good. So you can have, you could start off in one of the smaller ones, move to a bigger one if you need a bit more space. And then the floor above this has two apartments that take up, you know, half the building. So two L, this way, two L-shaped apartments on the floor above, which are, I believe, three bedrooms, possibly four. So they get quite big. I think the penthouse actually has less bedrooms because it's just a luxurious penthouse with huge rooms, just for a bit of fun. <laughs> um, I really like the dining room in this one, actually. So, I, oh, uh, so speaking, of, I mentioned earlier the original floor plans. Very cool. I'll actually link some of the stuff I'm talking about down below, like the, the building and some of the references I used. So, but on over on Wikipedia for the Bell Nord, you can find an original floor plan. And it's so interesting because it's so different. Um, they had individual separate staircases for, you know, the servants of the people that lived there. So they would have their own stairwell that actually enter separately through the back of their apartments into like a service hallway that actually then connects to like uh, the servants' uh, bedrooms and then to the kitchen and the pantry. And the pantry was a separate room behind the kitchen in the, the service area. So obviously the residents would never see it. And I was just like, that is so like far removed from any existence I know. Like <laughs> it's so interesting to see that and see that sort of history. Um, I did in one of my initial drafts try to do uh, a separate staircase that comes into the backside of one of the apartments. Um, it just, it turned out there's not enough room. I know at the beginning of this video, I said this building is huge and it is, don't get me wrong, but because it only got seven tiles wide in the, or the whole, you know, outer rim, it ends up being pretty awkward in some places. It's not, um, not that my layouts are awkward at all, but to add extra stuff, um, and I had to be careful with some of the, the floor plans of the apartments because it was very easy to end up with just like really long hallways that just like loop around. So I was trying to design it in a way where you'd like go from the dining to a living room and then from the living room, maybe that joins onto a bathroom and a little hallway, just like a really small one, then onto a bedroom. So it was sort of a little bit more uh, free flowing than having a huge big hallway which actually I think was kind of common as well in that original floor plan. The original floor plan had like huge foyers, which I guess is like a hallway. Uh, and then I think most of the rooms were just sort of side by side rather than, you know, lined up down the hallway. So I think it was kind of like that too. But it's really interesting to look at. I, I do suggest if you're interested in, in the, the architecture and all that kind of stuff, it is very, uh, very interesting. So this little apartment even has, you know, a little chess area, a little study area, nice book space. Um, now, yeah, all of these apartments, I did my best to furnish them pretty completely. Uh, I have not gone super heavily on uh, decorations or clutter in most of them. The one that's probably decorated the most is the penthouse. But the reason I didn't do that is because 
Again, it's such a big lot. If I decorated every apartment like fully, uh, wall decorations and all, it was just, it was going to be too much. So I decided early on, I was going to try and do relatively pared back decoration. Having said that, you'll note, I'm still, there's still a lot of decoration. I, and I still consider this place complete and I'm very happy with it. Uh, but I haven't gone like, you know, doing a whole bunch of clutter in the kitchen, for example. And I haven't done huge amounts of like wall decorations because when, even in this building, when you have the walls cut away, there's not a lot of like wall space you actually see. So the times that you're going to see the wall decorations was going to be pretty low. So I decided not to do too many like posters or pictures. They're still there. They're still around the place. Um, so don't worry. But yeah, that's that's my reasoning for that. So if you're if you're seeing some places that don't have as much, that's why, <laughs> because it is so big. Um, I'm not sure how many bedrooms in total we have. When we get into the tour at the end of this, we'll have a look. We should load up uh, the the lot and we'll, we'll count all the bedrooms because it is a lot. Now this we're actually on the th uh, second floor now, uh, which this this floor is the one that has the two large apartments. And what I'm doing in this video, if you haven't already noticed, is I'm doing I'm showing you furnishing one of each type of apartment. So I did I showed you one of the one bedrooms. We did one of the two bedrooms downstairs. Now we're doing one of this middle floor apartments. Then we're going to jump up to the penthouse and I'll show you all the apartments at the end. But I figured we don't need to see the same thing over and over again. You know, the, the apartments are not clones. Actually, every single apartment has a completely different floor plan and layout. For example, this one has some weird, uh, I don't know, passageway in between. I don't know what's going on there. It's creating this weird layout that we have to work around. I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, so yeah, all, all the apartments are totally different. Furnishings, colors, styles. Um, that You know, there are similarities in the color palettes. Uh, but I try to do even different floorings. You know, some of them have... Uh, actually, most of them have the same foyer when you go in, so they'll have the same tiles and uh, wallpaper that's in the rest of the, the building's lobby. So they have that in common. And then some of the wallpaper colors, like this color, I think I use a few times around the place. Uh, so yeah, there, there's similarities, but other than that, layouts, um, furnishings, all very different. So hopefully there's an apartment that interests you and you want to move into the building. That's the idea. But this is Sims, so there won't be any murders, unless you have a murder mod, in which case that is possible. But if you're enjoying the video, make sure to click like. I don't think I've ever said that, but YouTube, I think, added a thing recently where if you say like or subscribe to the channel, that the button, I think the subscribe and like button, like glow. I don't know, let me know if it worked. <laughs> Give it a go. I don't think I've, I don't know if I've ever actually said like, to uh, like ask to subscribe or like the video. I mean, I probably have, but not often. Anyway, so this apartment actually has two living spaces. You can you might have seen it because of that weird hallway that's in the middle. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. So I figured one of them would be the room with the TV. The other one's like more of like a, a parlor or like a library with the bookcases and all that. And then it's got another two bedrooms over this side. So I think this is a three bed apartment, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I didn't fully see. I was, you know, rambling about stuff. So you can see one of the stairwells right there. It is still like a spiral staircase. Spiral, you know, best we can do with what we actually have in the game. Um, not, not like the, as big as the original one, because I, I, like I said, I had to, I had to downsize them a little bit to be able to fit everything in. Uh, so that I think we're nearly about done with this apartment. Yeah, just doing the main bedroom. So yeah, the main bedroom is on the other side. Uh, from those two those two bedrooms over there. So this is a three bed and you can actually see that orange apartment with the orange floor. Uh, that's actually going to be the empty apartment. Uh, that one is not furnished. Uh, so if you do want to furnish it, it is there. It has a very interesting layout. Uh, it's kind of cool. I feel like kind of challenging. So it might be a fun one to give a go of yourself. And with that, it's time to move on to the main penthouse apartment. So the last time you may have seen this was in that live stream I was mentioning earlier. I was getting you guys to help me with the floor plan. Um, and you guys helped me out a lot. Now, we had originally done this room and had a huge skylight. I actually ended up removing that because I changed what I wanted this room to be. So in season three of the TV show, uh, this is one of the main character's apartments and he is a Broadway producer, right? So, and they're doing rehearsals and he has almost like a little stage and performance area set up in his own apartment and it looks really cool. 
Um, so that's what I was doing here. I was using a reference image of that particular apartment. Like I said, I'll try and link all this stuff in the description so you can see the images and what I was working from. But yeah, the, the idea is whoever lives here is supposed to be some sort of uh, producer, they or like performer. So they have their own little stage set up here. This is like the stage area, but it's also joined to like a living room. And through the back is actually like a little office area. And I think, oh, it's so, it's so cool. I think it came together really well. This, I think, is my favorite room in the entire building. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. It's really good. I, I'm so proud of this. It was This room was originally going to be like a, we sort of decided some sort of ballroom or function room so you could throw parties, which I mean, I still think it could be used for that for sure. Uh, but I like this extra element added to it. So, you know, we've got the little sitting area here and then we've got the piano, we've got a microphone, there's a guitar, uh, you know, so it's a fully functional entertainment space. And just through those doors there next to the fireplace, there's actually, I actually built like a bar area there. So there's like a bar and like a, a radio and all that. So there is like a whole party space on this side of the apartment. So I actually think it worked out pretty well there. Uh, and I really like the, I was kind of, I was not sure originally what theme this top apartment was gonna be. Like, I don't know wh how I was gonna furnish it exactly, but I really like this darker vibe with the, the dark wood floors. And actually, I, I kind of, I didn't even talk about it, but the flooring, we got this sort of herringbone pattern. I used the, the uh, floorboards from Vampires, which are only diagonal, but I just rotated each floor tile. Okay, now this, <laughs> if I don't explain it, you're gonna be like, what the heck is he doing in this kitchen? This kitchen is based off one of the other characters apartments in the show. So this is this is, this is still the same penthouse. So one of the rooms is based from one of the characters, this one is based off the other. He's got this kitchen that's like so maximalist in the colors, a bright blue kitchen. The tiles are sort of orangey and blue and yellow. There's a big orange wall. Um, and that's what this is. That's what this kitchen is. So just so if you're wondering, that's, that's what it is. And hey, if you don't like it, but you like the building, I think it'd be a fun place for you guys to try and renovate and make it feel more like a kitchen you want to play in, so. There you go. But yeah, I thought it was really fun. Uh, so then moving on to this area here, this is our big main living space, which I originally put the fireplace here because it, it felt like it made sense having that sort of jut out section there, which is weird. I don't know why we have this weird passageway behind the fireplace. What could that be? Don't know. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I put the fireplace there and then we had a TV over on that wall, but you'll see in just a second, I go to place couches and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> it really doesn't. I'm like, okay, because we also have a hallway over there. So I'm like, okay, the TV area is here. And I'm like, uh, that doesn't work. So instead I've swapped the couch and the TV, the, the TV and the fireplace and it made a lot more sense. So there you go, that works. Uh, so yeah, the living room, this is pretty basic, but we got a huge TV, lots of sitting space. I also do a games table just behind the couches. And that's kind of it for this room. Uh, I don't know. I just kept it simple. I kind of figured less is more in this particular room. This apartment has so much going on in it. This is now the main bedroom, which is a whole like complex of rooms. The main bedroom has its own foyer and then has this large room here. And then it actually has its own walk-in robe and it has a huge ensuite bathroom. Uh, so I I think this is really nice. I had a lot of fun with this one too. Uh, <laughs> that, that end piece of the bed, I don't know why I originally did it, it was like that orangey red. <laughs> I looked at it like a few seconds after I did it and I was like, that was a weird choice. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, there is a lot, there's a lot of bars in this apartment actually, I have noticed. We've got a lot of those, that globe is a bar, so, you know. Uh, so this is our bathroom. Our ensuite bathroom joined to the main bedroom there. I had a lot of fun with this actually, just this huge bathroom. Because I was like, we've got to have this huge tub, you know. We have to have that in this apartment. And then we've got this nice big sort of vanity area. Uh, with the sink and um, very simple mirror above it. Now the shower as well originally started out as this like two by two shower space. And I was like, this is so cool. But it, I, you might be noticing there's no toilet yet. And I was like, I, I knew there was no toilet, but I was like, I'll figure it out later. And then I decided, okay, well, I got to move the shower over to fit a separate little toilet room here. Cause I don't want a toilet just in the middle of this huge bathroom. Seems a bit weird, but then you can see it kind of made the, the bathtub get squished in the corner. So I was like, okay, I'll just make the shower smaller. We don't need like a two by two shower. So I think it worked out. Uh, and here I'm actually rotating where those couches were. Cause at this point, again, I knew I didn't have access to this walk in robe. And I was like, I'll figure it out later. So yeah, anyway, I just have to shift that stuff out of the way. Got a pretty uh, nice little walk-in robe there. Now this room was a suggestion, I believe from the live stream chat. 
uh, was to have like an actual butler's butler's room because I mean this is a penthouse maybe they'd have a butler so this is like a self-contained little apartment is the idea though realistically I think the butler will still use the main kitchen and all that but I thought they'd have a nice little kitchenette in here they got a Murphy bed and then I just do like a little tv and a desk with a computer so well, actually no I don't do a computer they don't have one if they want one, they can bring it home. But yeah, they have their own little apartment here and actually just next to it is a bathroom as well. So I feel like that's a nice little space that the butler could have. And I feel like I, I feel like it made it look nice. They even got a little plant area there. They're growing some nice little uh, greenery, nice lamp, little TV. It's a great place to live. Now this is that bar area I was talking about. And this is the last thing that we're gonna see in this video of furnishing because then we're going to jump into the tour and I'm going to show you everything because there's no way we could do it all in this one video. What we've seen so far has already been edited down from about four hours of just me building stuff, undoing stuff and redoing it. So it just wasn't possible to see it all. <laughs> it just wasn't. Uh, yeah, I, I'm actually really, really happy with this little bar. I think it's really cute. It's got this old school vibe, but it's kind of classy, but it's also it's dark, but kind of cozy. I don't know. I, I like I like the vibes that we got going on here. But hey, let's go ahead and jump into the game. I'm super excited to show you everything that we haven't seen yet. All right, here we are. And this is probably our first real good look at the actual exterior of the building because I know it's always hard to see in the time lapses what's actually going on. Hey, my gate got deleted. Okay, it's back. Yeah, so this is the exterior. So like I was saying earlier on, you can see actually that first floor has different windows from the two floors above it. And then obviously the ground floor has different windows as well. We've got a whole bunch of different wallpapers going on. Even though it's like all white, I really tried my best to make it look interesting and different and have different elements to it. And of course, being inspired from the original build at the same time. So I think it all came together really, really well. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, to be honest, I probably couldn't be happy with this. All right, let's have a look through the building. All right, so first up, let's look at the commercial spaces. This is our first little space here is the gym. Uh, you know, come hang out with the Sims, do a little bit of exercise. I think this will actually be useful. Oh, actually something I should note. So we've got four like commercial spaces here, here at the back and over here. Each of these are uh, only accessible from the exterior of the building because the idea is they're supposed to be like shops on the street. Uh, whereas to get to the residence, you have to go through either this gate or the back gate to get into the building and through to the courtyard. And then we have two lobbies. This is sort of like the main lobby, which is like more decorated and detailed. And you can see we have our little spiral staircase over here in the corner. So this, yeah, this is our main lobby. The other one is similar, but not nearly as detailed. Like I said earlier, I didn't want to go too far with uh, lots of extra details that don't really matter. Now, I guess I might as well go here because you might have seen it already. This is our arcade. We actually built and furnished this in the live stream. So if you want more in, in like interesting progress on how we did this, you can go watch that. But yeah, that's that's a bit of fun. But this was just basically a place so that our Sims can come and congregate, play games together because we've got the games table, we've got foosball, we've got karaoke. Just a place to hang out with other Sims. If you want to go on like a date or just hang out with the neighbors, you can do it down here. Then we also have a spa, which is just in here, nice and tranquil. Look at that. So the spa is basically just a sauna, but there is also a little bathroom in here. So if you need a shower or whatever, but yeah, there's a sauna just there. And the last one was the library, which we saw a little bit of the video. This has three computers and obviously a whole bunch. Hey, I'm hoping there's not a lot of random stuff deleted around the place because those chairs are supposed to be there. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this, this should be also a good place to come hang out with the computers and all that. So then, yeah, moving through to the courtyard space. You know what, let's have a look at the courtyard like this because you kind of get a good sense of what it's supposed to be. I think this looks so cool. I think it looks so cool. It came out really well. I'm, I'm very happy with this. And the fact that it's all fully furnished and I can't believe with for rent, it'll actually be a functional apartment building. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so cool. All right, let's go up the stairwell here to the first floor. This is actually uh, one of our sort of lobby areas as you go up. So we've got a lobby in this corner here, and then there's another one over here, which is actually a different layout. And that's on purpose, again, to create different design of apartments, different floor plans, uh, that they're purposely different in that sense. So here we have like a garbage chute and two doors. Over here, is this, this is the very first apartment that we built, uh, that little sort of Seinfeld kitchen and then the bedroom and, and all that back there. Over this way is the other apartment which we didn't see. So this has a similar entrance and bathroom. The kitchen is in like a similar spot, but it's more enclosed into that little nook there, which I 
think is actually really cute. <laughs> I, I think it's cute. And I've got a little living area here, small dining table. And then this actually goes through to two bedrooms. So this is actually a two bedder. So we've actually only got one one bedroom unit just here. This is actually a two bedder. And then over the other side of the building with where this door is, this is the other one we were building. Um, this is, I would be honest, this is a strange kitchen. I didn't really know what to do with it. So this might need a renovation, but hey, can you blame me? I had a lot of furnishing to do, okay? <laughs> There's gonna be some uh, some weird things, I think, in my defense. I really like the, the dining area though, this dining room. Hang on, look at this. And you actually get some really nice views out some of these windows, especially as you start getting higher up. So over here, we've got this living space. We do have ceiling, custom ceiling paint throughout the building. And I really think that little hallway is one of my favorite little touches. I, I, I had, I don't know, it just, it really speaks to me. It's got the archway with a mirror and then a couple of doors just there and there. And another door just here, which is where the bathroom is. So yeah, it's all sort of tucked into that hallway. And um, I, I, it's, oh, it's just, it's so nice. Actually, this bedroom is beautiful. Those windows out to the whole space there. Dang. So that's that two bedroom apartment. Then we also have, oh wait, I said one of the upstairs apartments was the empty one. No, 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 I was wrong. Sorry, this apartment, this is actually a three bedroom apartment on the first floor is the empty one. So this is this is our empty one here. You actually enter from this door um, and we got a little garbage chute there. And what's interesting about this one, so yeah, that's your main entrance, foyer. And the foyer actually goes to like a bedroom or like an office. And then the living space is really long and thin. It's only four tiles. So that's challenging. I would, I'd be interested to see what you guys do with this one. This is, I guess, supposed to be the kitchen, bathroom, and then two bedrooms here. So, oh, uh, yeah, don't worry about this. That's, that's just a mirror for like doing makeup and stuff. That's got nothing to do with anything. That's fine. Just have to adjust, whoops, adjust this picture on the wall too. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, moving up to the next floor, this is where we have two large apartments. So on this level, uh, the apartments basically start from here and one of them goes all the way around down to here. And this one starts here and goes all the way around over to here. And these apartments actually have doors on both sides. So there's actually a front door here. I don't know, it could be front, it could be back. And there's also a front door on this side. So you can actually enter from either side of the building on these. Just I figured I may as well do doors on both sides because the apartments do stretch that far. So this is the apartment we actually saw being built in the video. So we'll just have a quick look at this little bar area, uh, the kitchen behind this archway and nice dining area there. And then actually, so this is our foyer here. So the dining goes through to a bathroom and then the main bedroom is just in there. Nice corner bedroom. And then down the hallway over here, around this strange space that we've got in the middle, we have nice maximalist wallpaper, bookcases, couch. This is just kind of like almost like a little, what the heck? Why did this get deleted? Okay, there's like random stuff missing. I don't, oh. That's so annoying. I spent so long in this building and at some point stuff just got deleted and I don't know when, <laughs> but we're just gonna have to go with it. It was just this trolley, it was here like this. And then on top of it, we had a drink tray. You like pour drinks. Um, okay, uh, I don't know if there's anything else missing. Hopefully there's not too much stuff missing. Most of it looks right. Anyway, so this room then goes through into the sort of sitting room with the TV, nice couch area, and then the two bedrooms just through here. Had a little bit of fun with the colors in them. So yeah, two bedrooms on this side. Then there's another bathroom just here and then this door out to the foyer. So yeah, this has the two bathrooms, one on opposite ends of the apartment because I figured we needed definitely more than one bathroom. Otherwise it's gonna be super annoying. Anyway, then the other apartment. So if we enter here, actually has like a little wash closet, just a toilet and a sink. And then this goes through to an actually enclosed kitchen area. So it's separate, nice formal dining room with a fun wallpaper. And then this goes through to a nice big double bedroom in there. And that should be moved off the wall a little bit. And then this goes in through to a nice sitting room. I actually think this one is also really nice. I just love the corner room. When you have the corner of the building, windows on both sides, I think it looks really, really nice. Nice big bookcases and another couple of bedrooms over here and then a bathroom over here. So this is the only bathroom that has the shower and tub in it because this has two bathrooms that so the other one is a little bit smaller. So in a sense, this apartment's probably not as good as the other one. Now, last but not least, the penthouse. So this is the entire floor the whole top floor. And this one only has one entrance. It is through this side of the building because the other side is covered up. There's no entrance there. This is our only way to get up. We do have a garbage chute there. So you come into the foyer and off to the right of the foyer is like a little bathroom here. And then off to the left, you go through to that maximalist kitchen, which if I go to like, I think this angle around here it was sort of the angle I was inspired by the TV show. So I'll link that reference image down below so you can see it. 
But yeah, so there's that there, and that follows onto that little sitting area. I know it's kind of weird that these chairs are here. Uh, I did that because, again, I was sort of referencing the set photos, but in, because obviously our building is so much smaller, it just doesn't make nearly as much sense, but you know, it's there, you can still get around. And then I, this actually has an open little sort of home office area with this kind of weird bookcase setup. I don't know, that, that is weird. I wonder why that's there. Hmm, I guess we'll never know. And then through, this is our big living room, which you can see now it's more finished off. Another globe bar. Like I said, there's a lot in this building or in this apartment. Uh, so there's our games table, nice couches, just a few little light decorations. Through here is where we have this bathroom and we're doing a lot of these built-in showers in this particular apartment. This is our butler's room, nice and self-contained into the main bedroom, which I think this little reading and sort of, I guess, art corner really fits nicely in there. I, I don't know, it feels so snug. And then, so actually this is where you enter the bedroom, a little foyer space here. And then we've got the walk-in wardrobe through this doorway. And then over this side is our big bathroom, nice and fully fitted out with the talking toilet as well. Then through these doors actually goes to the bar area, which actually I did do a different ceiling in here. Yeah, so we got like a darker ceiling in here. Nice uh, old school record player, cozy couch, some dance floor. And then down the end here, we have just another bedroom and another little bathroom. And then this is that sort of theater room, which I think, like I said earlier, is my favorite room in the entire place. Cause this, this this room, obviously I spent a lot more time actually detailing, decorating it, which if I did this for the entire, this room alone, I think maybe took me an hour, which I know maybe is not, doesn't sound that long, but this is one room in this entire building. So if I did that for every room, it just, it, you know, it wasn't realistic. So uh, that's why I think this room, first of all, looks so good. Also, cause it was based off the show. So we are sort of using some really nice set design reference, but, uh, all things considered, came together really nicely. Then through the back here is like a, just a little reading nook. You could turn this into an office. I was gonna do that, but then we kind of didn't need uh, an office in here. So it's just like a little book area. Then this goes back around to the main entrance foyer, just there. And that is the building. So, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys, if you download it, also enjoy it. <laughs> it was a lot of work. But thank you so much to my top level members. And of course, all my members for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're not already a member, you should join up because we've got so many exclusive videos, new ones every week. And we've got some really good ones coming soon. But yeah, if you're interested in downloading this, it will be linked in the description down below, or you can search for James Turner YT on the gallery. You should be able to find it there. Uh, or you can wait until The Sims 4 for Rent comes out because all of these apartments I've been building, I'm gonna re-upload them to the gallery with the proper rental versions where they're set up as units, how they're intended to be. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much work. Uh, literally, I think over the last three weeks I've been working on this. So here and there where I can find time and it's finally come together. It is literally as I'm recording this, 1, 10 a.m. I'm hoping to get this video up by 2 a.m. in 50 minutes. I don't think that's possible, but We'll try. <laughs> we'll try. I'm very happy though. I'm very happy. And I'm very happy that you guys watched this and enjoyed it. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.